So we're here today collecting bats uh, for research, multiple research projects. We have um, people from various states, different agencies, the Nature Conservancy, volunteers, local landowners. We have a lot of people that get involved to make this thing happen. So one of the projects we're doing here today is the University of Tennessee. <laughs> They're taking swab samples of these bats of their skin. Um, and these bats today had no obvious signs of fungal growth. Um, but right now the only, the only indicator we have in the field is this obvious white fungus. Um, but we know it persists in the environment. We know the fungus is there before we can see it and they're trying to give us a good field indicator and give us a way to quantify levels of fungus without having to kill bats and send them to a laboratory. My project in particular was looking at the use of a subcutaneous implant that has an antifungal agent uh, that's basically a long-acting delivery of drug to the bats and we're hoping that this will be either a preventive um, so that if they do become exposed to the fungus, it'll actually prevent them from succumbing to the disease, or if they already are infected, we can use it as a treatment. At this cave today, we gave 20 bats implants of various strengths, and the bats are now going to actually go up to Bucknell University, where they'll be infected with GEO, GD or Geomyces destructans, which is the fungus that causes white nose syndrome, and we're going to look and see a what happens over the course of the next four months while we hibernate them to see if they actually do get sick from the infection or if we can prevent it with the implants that we use. It's a, a real testament to how important this is, how big of an issue it is. It's been named the worst wildlife disaster in human history um, and it's, it's compared very much to things like the bison kill off or passenger pigeons. The difference being that these, these animals aren't being hunted. Um, it's, it's a wildlife disease that they're being affected by. Um, and we're, we're doing everything we can and, and it's, it's a real coordinated effort, people trying to come together and, and just doing what we can to save these bats. We've had the, the disease in Tennessee for three years now. It's honestly slowed down. It's not moving as quickly as we thought and that's been a really hopeful sign so there is a little bit of optimism there um, and we're all hoping for the best and, and really just doing the best we can to find a solution.